Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight apparently we just finished a segment in the bureau. <laughs> um no, we're just we're just chilling tonight. I, I I am gonna try to have some fun. I know I missed my stream yesterday. I ended up joining uh Legendary V19 last night on his stream. Yesterday I actually didn't even post a video. I know that's crazy. Uh but I ain't gonna lie, guys. I've been struggling. I I have literally been struggling to to get through every single day. Um, so just one of those things. Sometimes you gotta recharge for a day. Hopefully, come back with a better better attitude towards things. But uh, looks like we're gonna have to play the moss and win a battle. So uh, let's go out and do that in AI real quick. Pick up our crate. Dewan, Sorbent. Merle, Stefan, Robert, Hein, Ricky, appreciate you guys. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we have a good time here. Um, also, want to kind of apologize to uh, to Mister Legendary for yesterday. Like, I he knew going in that I wasn't feeling the greatest. I I did tell him ahead of time, but I told him I'd try to try to do the stream anyway. Um, and it was it was rough, man. Like, it just, you know how this game gets sometimes. And then, like, for me, it's even harder when I'm in a division uh, to play to play this game because I struggle. Like, y'all know that I have, like, social anxiety and stuff like that, like, real bad. Like, but I struggle in division chat because, like, I'm trying to, like, relay information to people and I'm trying to, like, you know, further our, our, our game. <laughs> And, you know, when, when there's streaming involved and people are, are, are jumping in and out, like, are talking about everything else, too, like, it, my brain starts to freak out. And, uh, like, it, it just leads to me being even more agitated than normal with everything that's going on. So, I do apologize to Mr. V19 for that yesterday, but uh, I do try. I, I, tr I truly do try. I, I think a lot of people think that I'm just a jerk all the time. I'm not. In fact, most of the time, if you meet me, like, in the real world, I'm, like, the least of a jerk that you'll ever meet. But it just, it's, it gets, it gets crazy. Like, it really does. Like, I don't know how to explain it. All right, let's, where, where's the moss? There it is. But uh, it, it just gets, it gets rough. I don't know. Am I the only one? Like, am I just weird? I feel like I'm weird. But... Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. What up, OGN? How's it going? Anime Gamer? Uh, Skillator? Good to see you guys. You have a challenge. Uh, we'll see. I'll see what your challenge is, and I'll decide whether or not I'll accept it. Probably will, though, because I'm a, I'm a dingus and I'm gl a glutton for punishment. Which is why I'm streaming World of Warships Legends at 4 o'clock in the morning. Anthony, how's it going? Just got the Napoli. Is the Autobot Commander good on it? Um, uh -huh. <laughs> I have no idea, to be perfectly honest. Uh, when I play the Napoli, I think I, I uh, just play the regular Commander for the, uh, for the Napoli. Because it doesn't get SAP, right? I'm pretty confident. I, I don't play the Napoli. I'll be perfectly honest. Meta, Meta Jerk and I play a lot of ships uh, that that most people don't necessarily enjoy because they're fun. Uh, Napoli is one of those that he loves. I just have never gotten along with the Napoli. I don't know. It seems like every time I'm in it, it doesn't matter what angle I'm at. I can't ever get that thing to like bounce a shell. It is almost always like just absolute punishment every time I get into thing. But. Uh, let me switch over to HE real quick. Um, but yeah, it he's probably... I think most people could agree. Meta Jerk is probably the premier source of Napoli, if you guys are interested in, in the Napoli. Uh, I, I don't have a lot for it. I do love a lot of the Italian cruisers uh, now that they have their rolling smoke and their SAP and all of that. But, but yeah, when it comes down to it... Um, I just I I don't I don't play the Napoli a whole lot. <laughs> what 
What up, Diego? Steven? Uh, now I suddenly want to shoot. Let's see. I'm pretty sure this thing has 150s, right? Like... Thought we'd be citadeling at this range. Ah, come on. I can't turn the corner on him! He's turning with me! What is this? This guy's better than 90% of the player base. Legitimately better than 90% of the player base. I can't pin him at this angle either. Hello? Ouch. Oh, they killed me before I even got to t Ah, dude. Alright, so the moss hasn't got as good of guns as I thought it did. Like, I just... And I couldn't get... It's it's AI. We're gonna win that match. All I wanted was one game to finish the, the, the thing off. Like, whatever. But, <laughs> it's one of those things where... I could have swore this thing had better guns than it did. Like, we should have been citadeling that, that guy before he started turning with us, right? Like, am I am I crazy? This, th this thing does have good guns, right? Oh, it's 128s. I thought this thing had 150s. Am I crazy? Which one has 150s? Oh, it's not fully upgraded. Uh, that doesn't seem... That's just a targeting upgrade, right? Like, it doesn't actually change the gun. I... There is a... I'm not... I'm not crazy. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for it. German destroyer... I will figure you out. Who has the 150 mil? Is it the Getty? Somebody has 150 millimeter guns. Ah, it's a Getty. God dang it. <laughs> God dang it. I knew I wasn't crazy. There was one of these little turds that had a friggin' 150 mil gun. Ah, oh, sadness. Jackie, thank you for 12 months. Appreciate you so much. Can we get some goats in the chat? You guys are absolute legends. Thank you guys so much. I don't know why you guys put up with me. But, uh, yeah, let's let's get out of here. Let's go back into standard. That should be a win, and then we'll advance on the next one. Oh, yeah, German destroyers. Like, they're so weird, because it's so hard to remember who does what with the German destroyers. Apparently, we finished that one as well. Oh, they, the, the game's over already. We won. Shocker. I should have saved my torpedoes a little bit longer in that video. Because I know that the AI will cheat. As soon as you launch the torpedoes. It's kind of like Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. As soon as you launch the torpedoes, the AI will dodge them. Every time. If you launch at any sort of distance. Uh, tier 7 ships is probably the only one that I'm... I may throw the Shardenhorst on there because I do occasionally play it, but not very often. Anywho. Um. What do... What do I want to play, man? Let's get rid of the German thing, first of all. Good lord. Do we even bother trying to play a legendary ship at this point? Let's go... Let's go Des Moines and see what happens. That's something we ain't played in a minute. You build a spe speed build for Hood using Ashlane Hood, and she's now the fastest battleship in the game at 34 knots. That's not really that fast. I mean, that's that's okay. But, like, Gneisenau, I'm pretty sure, can go faster than that. Um, Georgia definitely can go faster than that. Um, John Bartz. All, all, all the speed booster battleships can go faster than that. PC got the Commonwealth line, huh? Nice. I mean, we already have some Commonwealth ships. What up, Anthony? How's it going? Yeah, I highly recommend, if you're looking for the uh, the Napoli, check out Mr. Meta. Meta has some awesome videos in the Napoli, and he makes fun of me for not being very good in it. 
<laughs> he, he gets mad at me because I call it a squishy ship. But I'm telling you, every time I take that ship out, it cannot bounce a shell. Like, I, I play a lot of other stuff that require angling. I know how to angle. I know how to do it. But I'm telling you, every single time I take the Napoli out, I regret it. Every time. Maybe that's our goal for today. Maybe I get a decent game in a, in a Napoli at some point. <laughs> what, what up, Mr. Morningwood? How's it going? Um, did we get a, hey, I don't see any goats in chat after Jackie re-upped her membership. Can we please get some goats in the chat? I, be, I believe in y'all. What up, Lady Lex? Good to see you. Tech Tree Commonwealth Cruisers. I mean, the, the problem with the Commonwealth ships and stuff, it's just a rehashed version of the same ships that are already in the game, right? Like, do they actually have anything special? Or is it just British cruisers? Like, like that's, the, that's the problem with these, like, intermediary lines. Like, every, everybody's like, well, I want the Pan-Asians. I want that. Well, the Pan-Asians at least have something different, right? Like, they're, they're, they're similar ships, but they got different things. I feel like the, the like, Commonwealth ships are all, like, literally identical to the, the British, like, cruisers. Now, if you're from from the area, like if you're from Australia or some of the other Commonwealth states, uh, th and you get a ship that that like is after your your region, then that's there's nothing bad that I'm gonna say there. Like I get it, everybody wants it. Also, can we just get on board with the fact that we are in a seven v seven, and three of them are destroyers? Ugh. At least I'm in a Des Moines. I can, I can go out and murder some destroyers. What are the battleships? Conqueror, Colombo, Izumo. Colombo doesn't overmatch us. Conqueror does, but doesn't matter because he'll be shooting HE. There's the Colombo. What up, Diego? There's some goats. Thank you, guys. What up, Anthony G? How's it going? I'm spotted? Really? All right. There's the Conqueror. And of course, Conqueror shoots at me. And he's actually shooting AP. I'm impressed. Uh-huh. Columbo's shooting at my broadside. mercy i gotta be careful here because uh, conquer loaded a he this time so this is the problem with me playing this game <laughs> like i'm the only person that exists i'm just dead right i can't play the game i'm not allowed I i'm not allowed to play the game Get me out of this shit. I'm not playing Legendary Tier anymore tonight. <laughs> like, I'm not doing it. Like, Legendary Tier is such a fucking shit show. It's like, oh, yeah, let's let's spawn him in. He's in a cruiser. Let's spawn him in in a game. There's only seven people to potentially shoot at. The game is just going to be filled with destroyers. They're going to charge in. I'm going to radar him. I'm not going to be able to hit him, and the game's over because I get torped by two different destroyers because I got one in the middle and one in the right. Yeah, this, this we're off to a great start. Fuck this shit, dude. I can't play the game. Like, uh, you're just not allowed to play the game at Legendary Tier. That's all it is. You're just not allowed to fucking play Legendary Tier. You cannot have fun at Legendary Tier. Because every game is going to be full of fucking destroyers. You're going to have 8,000 fucking torpedoes coming from everywhere. From ships that you can't even see. And you're the only person that even bothers to try. So what, what is the point? Like, why even bother playing Legendary Tier? I don't see the point. Did it even Weekend Warriors? Like, I, I hate when people say that. It's not Weekend Warriors. It's every fucking day of the week. Like, these people are fucking awful, man. Like, you could say that that's my fault. How dare I actually move my fucking ship from spawn, right? Like, that's my fault for moving. How dare I? 
But when you're in a spawn and you move and you go like half a fucking kilometer and you're already spotted by everything in the fucking game and then they're cross torping you from both sides, like what are you going to do? There ain't enough fucking dodging in this game going to get you out of a situation where they're launching 15 fucking torpedoes from one side, 10 to 12 torpedoes from the other side, and your team is not moving. Like the guys that spawned on the right side of the map, they didn't move. They were just sitting there. So I'm the only thing anybody can see. I've got a Mino that shot at me and never got a chance to shoot at. I don't have any spotting because, you know, my three destroyers aren't spotting anything, right? It's just me. I don't know, man. I, this game just rubs me the wrong way anymore. It's so annoying to play this game half the time. Like, I, I try to, like, just join in and have a good time, but, man, this game is frustrating as fuck to play. It's like, you don't even get a chance to fucking play the fucking game. It's like, oh, you're spawned in, you're already spotted, you're already being cross torped by 30 fucking torpedoes that do a million damage apiece. Good luck. Oh, and just in case you thought you could dodge those torpedoes, every battleship on the map is going to crossfire you from over the fucking top of Mount Everest to make sure that you hit those torpedoes. You got to stay angled to everybody while maintaining the fact that you can't see anything and you got to try to, like, somehow pull it off. And I spotted, like, the worst spot for a Des Moines. Like, spawn me on a flank so that I have a fucking chance to maybe defend myself. No, they spawned me right in the fucking middle with the destroyers all around me. No spotting for me. And two battleships on either side of me. Like, it is just fucking abysmal, man. That's why I don't bother playing Legendary Tier 90% of the time. Like, about the only time you see me play in Legendary Tier is when I'm forced to by joining somebody else's division or making a video. Otherwise, Legendary Tier is just not fucking worth the frustration. All you get is three minutes of waiting in a queue to get into a shortened game of, like, six people or less. And then you end up in a match where, like, your team does nothing or their team does nothing and the game's over in eight minutes. Is that really enjoyable? I don't think so. Like, I don't know, man. I just don't enjoy it. I think Legendary Tier is fucking obnoxious. Maybe if there were more people in the game, maybe if there were more, like, actual ships at the tier, I don't know. But, uh, it's just so frustrating to play Legendary Tier. I mean, there's so much more diversity at every other tier, and more players, you don't have to wait around in queue for 30 minutes. Surely, somebody can shoot this Atlanta, right? I mean, I did take all of his hit points. Am I going to be forced to shoot him again? Because nobody can, like, shoot at him. You got a fucking Talin right there, and that Atlanta just, like, went full broadside in front of the man, and he got away with it. A Talin. Like, some of the nastiest AP at the fucking tier. Don't worry, I got him, boys! Fuck off! Watch, now they'll shoot him. Right? You're dead, sunshine. Goodbye. I was waiting for somebody to yoink that fucking kill right as I get the shot. I guarantee it. Every time, man. It's like they won't shoot him, won't shoot him, won't shoot him. I finally decide to shoot the motherfucker and that's when they'll shoot him. Was he not in range? Hello? And of course, my Bismarck just shot the fucking island. Oh, there it is. Shooting HE. Completely swing and a miss. Shocker. Alright, that was the shot from... I was going to say, he's going to go dark. Hoping that I get away with this turn here. Again, I don't have a way to see... Okay, there's the Mogami. Uh, he got his reload off because I'm just sitting here waiting for the Mogami to get spotted. And I actually ricocheted. 
would think the guy with the uh, like extended sonar would be willing to push forward and all those secondaries. And now he's gonna walk out and get torped, right? And torpedoes a stun. Okay, this guy's a hundred percent gonna turn to the left, right? Yeah. 100% gonna turn to the left. Surely I'll do damage to him this time, right? Nope. Nope. All my shells go everywhere but the thing in the middle. As per freaking usual. As per freaking usual. Alright, let's get rid of this Alabama. I love that I can snipe the fucking superstructure on a battleship regularly. I can't hit a fucking cruiser because, you know, shells shells aren't allowed to hit the thing in the middle. It's like, I can put the shells exactly where I need them, but the shells, when you shoot at a cruiser, will go everywhere but where you actually aim them. It's like, I, I will bracket every cruiser that I shoot at, but I can fucking put it on a fucking dot. When shooting at a battleship. And how that, that... I'd be pissed off if I was that guy. How the fuck was that a Citadel? Why is it that I Citadel shit when I'm shooting at a superstructure? But yet somebody goes flat fucking broadside to me. I can't Citadel it. Explain that shit. <laughs> Explain that shit, developers. I'd love to know that one. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of him. Look at this. Look at this superstructure hit. Okay. They actually landed a little further forward. He started reversing, but still did the job. <laughs> but if you guys can explain how I can, like, put a dot on a superstructure of a battleship, and then I shoot at a cruiser, and every shell will dodge the cruiser. Like, the cruiser doesn't have to do shit to dodge, but every shot that I take will, will legitimately avoid him. Gets the double. Shocker. Z has backed off. Our victory is in sight. Down goes the Bismarck. Problem solved, sir. Look at this guy staring. He's like, I gotta wait. If this guy fires his guns, I need to be able to see it. Take the shot. He's gonna turn away and that should hit him. Penetration. Imagine if we hit more than two shells. Oh, there's the fire. Gotta love that 25% fire chance, am I right, guys? Now he's gonna try to dodge. Okay, Z's all the way up there, so we don't have to worry about him. He turns out, which is kind of what we expected. One Our shell. Victory is in sight. Give him the third fire? No, nope, of course not. What's that? What's that about, too? How come nobody ever gets the third fire? You ever notice that? They'll always get the second fire, right? Like, it is guaranteed that they will score that second fire. But they never get that third fire that, that would trigger your fight fire with fire. Like, very rarely. No matter how many HE shells hit you, no matter where they hit you, like, you almost never get that third fire. Also, this Synop's about to have a real bad day. Wait for it. Victory is in sight. Hello, sunshine. <laughs> that man did not see that coming until it was too late like he thought he was being sneaky he like wait this guy's not gonna be paying attention he's been shooting or been getting shot by the fucking bogami i'll sneak up on him in my synop <laughs> how'd that work out for you sunshine how'd that work out for you all right what is the battleship is left Missouri. Okay, so we got a Mogami, which we know. We got the little turd burglar out there. And we got a Missouri. 
We've got the points lead. They got to come to me. I ain't, I ain't playing around. Oh, that guy's got no health left. He's far enough away that I didn't radar him. Oh, there he is. One shell. One shell to rule them all. Battle ends in five minutes. Can we also talk about how stupid it is that the uh, cruisers get that stupid perk that allows them to, like, tell when somebody's even looking in their direction? Is that not the dumbest thing you ever heard? It's like, they don't even have to, like, pay attention to what's going on. They just gotta look at a fucking little number on the screen, and as soon as it goes up, they just, they start dodging. They got that ESPN radio going on. Okay, aim short. He's turning towards us. That should finish him off, hopefully. Oh, never mind. They didn't even make it. What up, Amir? Curve? Good to see you guys. Curve coming in re upping for nine months. Thank you so much. Anthony, how's it going? Somebody, how's it going? Hola. Ivar, good to see you. Tuxedo, V, good to see you. Or, V. Yeah, I mean, economy is one thing at Legendary Tier, but I don't almost, I like, I get more bullshit fucking games at Legendary Tier where it's like fucking 7v7, 3v3, 2v2. It's, it's not even worth my time to even attempt to get Legendary Tier games most of the time. Like, there's just not enough people playing Legendary Tier because it's an awful gaming experience. Ain't hey, nobody likes it. Like, Legendary Tier is awful. 2400 base 130k not a bad game <sighs> but yeah like i don't know man i just don't i don't think anybody really truly enjoys playing legendary tier like, i think if people were better at the game and actually tried to play the fucking game maybe legendary tier would be decent but you just combine all the stupidity that, that the game adds with Legendary Tier, and then all the people that have no idea what they're doing, it just makes for an experience that I don't I don't enjoy. <laughs> like, just to put it... Put it uh... You know what? I've been thinking. I don't have enough XP for it, but there's a ship. Where are you at? Is it in here? Yeah, right there. 750,000 global for the gas can. I wonder if I were to end up getting this, would I enjoy it more now compared to when I first played it? Because it's essentially a lower tier Republic, right? Like I love the Republic and it was a bit of an adjustment period for me to, to get into the repo. So I wonder if this would be something that I would be interested in playing now. You know? I mean, it, the, the, the downside with this, obviously, is the 15-inch guns. So it's not going to be Republic. But uh, it has been, it's been kind of, kind of like, poking at me in the back of my mind. I don't know. We might have to, might have to get that in the near future and then end up getting it. Legion, welcome. How's the fun having going? I mean, other than the Balti game, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Like I said, it just... Legendary tier in general just tends to just rub me the wrong way because, like, you end up waiting around for two to three minutes. You get in a match. It's 80 fucking destroyers. So you, half the shit... And that's assuming you don't get a carrier game, which... I know carrier games aren't really super common at Legendary Tier, but when they are, it's usually a carrier plus three or four destroyers, so half of the lobby is shit you can't even see. 
Do you not understand how fucking stupid that is? It's like half the lobby is shit you can't spot. Like, what is the purpose of that? It's so stupid. And then, of course, those are the games where there's no, there's no, like, nobody playing a cruiser, right? God help me, I get into those games where I'm in a fucking cruiser and the entire lobby's full of cruisers. Or, you know, destroyers and cruisers. Or battleships that snipe me from across the fucking map, as we saw with that Columbo who was behind Mount Everest and took a shot at me just to make sure... You know, I'm on the other side of the fucking map. But nobody was spotted because two of the three destroyers spawned directly across from me. So the only thing anybody can shoot is me. But, yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I just, I, I can't even bother with Legendary Tier anymore. I can't take it seriously. Like, every game's the same dumb shit at Legendary Tier. Alright, hopefully this guy goes to the right in the morrow, bro. I'll go to the left and see if I can't, like, make something happen over there. I don't play the Champagne very often, but it is a very good ship. I do like that camo in the morrow, bro, though. Am I, am I the only one? I also feel like this morrow, bro, is going to get himself killed pretty quickly. Yeah, Curve, thank you for the, uh, the nine months. And then also, thank you. Uh, my chat got frozen. Thank you for the five gifted memberships, Mr. Overland. Get some goats in the chat for both those guys, please. <sighs> okay, we got champagne. That's odd. Apparently, I'm not the only one trying to play the champagne today. I don't think this ship needed a, a reload booster, but I don't mind that they gave it one. I want him to turn out. If he turns out, I've got a beautiful look. Alright, I'm going to try at this angle. I think I might have a chance here. And of course, he just holds his fire and then shoots at me. Got shot at by three different people, but didn't, didn't take a shot at any of them. He's gonna go beach himself, so that should be a good good thing for our team, right? Because he's gotta to try to stay angled to me. If he does try to turn and stay away from that island, I should have another good look at him. Conversely, we gotta look at this vanguard. I'm out of range. Good hit on the Vanguard. This thing's a sniper, man. It really is. That's what I've always liked about this thing. It's always had that. And it doesn't seem to lose the penetration over range like a lot of ships do. Like a lot of ships, if, if you go out past 15 kilometers, they just don't punch the way they normally would. But this thing, this thing does not have that problem. This thing seems to really enjoy shooting beyond 15 kilometers. I've Citadel Yamas at like 16 kilometers with this thing. Back when tier 7s regularly face legendary tier. Okay, mines is slowing down. I guess I'll take a shot. He's about to make a turn out, it looks like. I think he's going to speed up and get out of the way, though. Somebody caught him. Again, I'm taking this shot because I can. I don't think it's going to necessarily hit, but if it does, it should be devastating. And actually, it looks perfect. They landed too high. Landed too high, man. What is this? How do you just get away with that in a vanguard, man? 
Holy shit, what the fuck else is out there? Was that the fucking Neptune citadeling me? Really? There's gotta be something else back there, right? Like, there's something else that's hiding back there. Oh, now I get the citadel. No, that is the fucking Neptune putting that much damage on my, my champagne. That's absurd. That was legitimately the Neptune. He must have scored citadels or something on me. Which is absurd at that range with a fucking cruiser. Oh, here comes the fun of having the mines shooting at me. There's got to be a destroyer out here too, right? Because that's how I'm spotted right now. Well, if you think I'm going to be the only thing pushing forward, you're out of your goddamn mind. Of course, and now that I've committed to turning away... Yeah, hold these, you little bastard. Yeah, this thing does not have armor. That is that is the one thing I do know about this. It does not have the armor. So yeah, their destroyer's here. I'm gonna backtrack and try to go around. Go ahead and heal. We do have the speed boost to help us. But getting into a fight with two light cruisers, I mean apparently the Kansas is about that life, which is whatever. He's gonna get torped into oblivion. Peter Bag already used his radar. You'd think the Peterbag would be wanting to get into a fight with those cruisers. I mean, it's two light cruisers. It's kind of what he should be good at. I'm going to wait for this Kansas to shoot at this guy. See what he does. Uh, he's right on the edge of my range again, dude. Yeah, not going to take that shot. So this is it two mines? Yeah, there's two of them. All right, that makes more sense. And there's the Kansas eating torpedoes. Shocker. Turns out if you run into an area that has a destroyer and two light cru or three light cruisers that have torpedoes, it's not good for your health. Who could have seen that coming? We haven't done shit in this one so far. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you. And down goes the the Kansas. Shocker. And now this Peter Bag's gonna catch himself out in the open. I mean, we've got cap control. We don't have to do anything crazy here. That's why I had to back off from that. I mean, you're getting focused by two mines and a Neptune. Neptune already showed that that thing's fully capable of yeeting me. And then you've got the mines on top of that. I'm gonna take this shot because I can get away with it but I don't think it's going to hit. These are fast, but I don't think they're that fast. Eh. Pretty lackluster. All right, let's start working on these broadsides over here. Kansas, Cleveland. Spotted by a fucking plane? How? How am I fucking spotted by a plane at this point? All right, let's start using our reload booster here. I think I caught the Cleveland. No Citadel. Shock. Cleveland's gonna dodge. Let's put some shells into the Kansas. Did I not lead the Kansas enough? Like, with these shells, I... Okay, I got a Citadel. Come on. Get it loaded. Okay, we're already turning in, so we should be fine from the Kansas shells for the most part. Got very minimal damage. Probably don't have enough to lob this, right? Well, it says I can. I'll go for a superstructure hit here as he turns towards us. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. It's alright, though. Kansas goes down to torpedoes from the Z. Cleveland, I should have a chance to maybe shoot him here in a moment. Notice all those cruisers that are bunched up over there and how everybody just stopped firing at them? That's what you're supposed to do in this situation. Also, Marlborough just now died. Okay, you're dead, Cleveland. 
Nice, nice turn, buddy. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> that was not the turn that you needed to make, Sunshine. Fuck your fire. Alright, so we've solidified our cap control. Our destroyer's gonna be able to take that base, no problem. We're gonna try to get turned in and head back across the map here. This guy turned, so I don't think I'm gonna hit him. They don't have a choice. They gotta get. They gotta start getting involved because they they kited away and nobody followed them. So, I mean, I say nobody followed them. The people that did follow them died. The rest of us were smarter than that. Okay, he is now in reverse. He's gonna try to get around that corner? Question mark. Take the shot, leading him around the corner. Got the citadel through the deck. A little bit of payback. Down he goes. Beautiful. B E A beautiful. It may not be the like craziest game in the world, but it at least shows that you can't you don't have to dedicate yourself to just one fight. Sometimes you gotta back off and see what happens. Got a good look at the mines here over the island. Probably not gonna hit too much. I get the citadel. Dude, this thing just sniping citadels out here. Making me look like a sniper. That mines is definitely gonna run. I ain't gonna be able to get the guns on him before he gets away. Still another mines out there, and there's still the destroyer. I need this Otago to live here. But we win. So, GG's. GG's. What up, Wolfie? Welcome to the stream. Dozer, good to see you. I apologize if I've missed anybody in chat. Taco, good to see you, Dejin. Uh, Skillator, Deathmax, good to see you guys. Not a bad game considering. Like, there wasn't a whole lot we could do there. If we'd have charged in like that Kansas, we'd have ended up just like that Kansas. Like, that first salvo from that freaking Neptune was actually kind of disgusting. Like, I'm pretty sure he would have had to have scored Citadels because he hit us really, really hard. Like, I thought a battleship hit us. Like, I thought there was a battleship hiding back there. But it was actually the Neptune. And the two mines were shooting HE. But that was kind of kind of cracked. Alright, maybe, maybe Jean Bart is the way to go. Morning, Doc. How's it going? Norska, good to see you. Yeah, see, in tanks, yeah, there is a service cost with that, but in uh, in ships, it is a flat service cost. I think it changes based on, like, stuff you do during the battle. Like, if you end up using more consumables, you end up paying more. Uh, but the actual service cost to take your ship into battle is is taken out as soon as you take the ship out. Carrier game. They got a Kaga, we got a Kaga. Alabama, Missouri, Zeton, Anult, Atlantico, Schroeder, Riga, Hayate. So each team has a Schroeder. Each team has a Kaga. We've got a Mogador. They've got a Hayate. The Atlantico is really the only thing that I worry about in this particular lobby. Because we've got AA, so I'm not worried about the carrier so much. But uh, that Atlantico... The secondaries are so busted on the Atlantico. Those 234 millimeter secondaries are disgusting. And you put yourself on a French battleship, you, you just the Atlantico will melt me. Yeah, I can't quite lob that anyway. I was hoping this guy would spot something across from us, but he's too busy running to the side where the carrier's spotting. But I'm spotted now, so 
Maybe we'll get lucky and somebody will shoot at us. Here it comes. Alabama. Take a shot at him. I am worried about the crossfire here from there. Especially given the fact that I have a battleship that's kind of like hugging me. I don't like when people do that. Like, I can't stand when people get too close to me in a battleship because it limits my ability to, like, change course. And they actually have a destroyer in this cap, which is a little scary. It's a Hayate. I'm going to change course here. Try to bait this Alabama into firing. Well, Zeton's here, too. And the Atlanta goes all the way over there. I gotta remember, I don't overmatch the Zeton, I don't think. Thinking Hayate has a reload booster. I just lost half those shells. Alright, let's use the engine boost to get out of here. I am expecting more torpedoes. I'm going to try to help this right side if I can. If I can get angled enough here, that would be helpful. And of course, the fucking Atlantico shoots me. <sighs> yeah, this guy's changing course again. Look at this. Now I'm being shot from those guys all the way over there. They left their spawn to come over and shoot me. Go figure. Where have I seen that before? Take another shot at him. Got a reload booster opportunity. Making the most of our reload booster. Slowing down, he's going to change course. Let's go ahead and use our first heal. Dude, we are getting terrible dispersion. Other than that shot on the Zeton. Like, our, our shots have been awful. We do have another look at the Zeton. Oh my god, stay spotted! If only there was a carrier! Or a destroyer. Surely he's dumb enough to fire his guns. I was going to say, surely he's dumb enough to fire his guns. Good hits. Alright, we got to get rid of this Atlant... Oh my god. I was going to say, we got to get rid of this Atlantico. I got to try to keep his distance from him. Our Schroeder's getting burnt down. Want to know a way to get rid of the Atlantico, boys? HE. Your AP is going to be struggling to get, like, any real damage off the guy. So switching to HE on a Schroeder does two things. One, they don't have fight fire with fire if they're running the secondary build, right? Uh, that's a thing. Oh, my God, he actually shot at me. But it also knocks out their freaking secondaries. All right, look at all that AA and secondaries we just knocked out with that shot. You want to neuter in an Atlantico, take out its secondaries. And like I said, they don't get fight fire with fire on the Atlantico's, like, secondary build commander. So, you can get more than three fires. But if we can get rid of this Atlantico relatively quickly here, I feel really good about our odds. He 
He's now going forward. He just put out the fire. You gotta be. You're going out of your fucking way to target me, you little bitch. Do you see what I'm saying? Do you see what I'm fucking saying about these fucking destroyers, man? Like, this dude has done nothing for his... He went into the cap, he, he's captured the base, and now he's gonna fucking try to catch me. Like, that's all he's doing. That's his whole goal in fucking life, right? Should be able to take him down here. And I don't have any any counter for him. The destroyer actually torped me from so fucking far away, it's stupid. Like, where did he die? Where did the destroyer die? Because their destroyer's dead. But if he torped me all the way the fuck out there, where did he die? I'm not seeing where he died on the fucking, like, board. Alright, let's switch over to AP. We will have a chance to shoot the Schroeder here. I'm less worried about the Schroeder. He does have fire starting, but his secondaries don't really pin. Looks like uh, Bismarck is going to get this cap, so I'm just going to double back and try to work in behind these guys. I'm looking on the map. I don't even see where the destroyer died, so I don't understand how the hell he torqued me and then died. Alright, we'll take that shot at the Schroeder. I'm going to try to get into this cap and, and get it capped while we have the Bismarck here to help. Got one. Bismarck could go st stop shooting. Let me try to get this guy's attention. This is not how you play the Schroeder, by the way, if you were wondering. I'm trying to get this guy to shoot at me here, but he actually still shot at the Bismarck. He is turning in, which could be juicy. Oh my god, we overshot him. I thought we fired at a low enough angle that that would still hit him while he's turning in. Now he's going to turn back out. Bismarck is still burning. Again, Bismarck could just go dark. And I think that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to stop shooting at this guy so that when he kills this Bismarck, he doesn't reset me. And then we'll get this cap and then we'll wrap around behind these guys and try to help the team. Main thing here is to just get this cap. I couldn't care less about this Schroeder. The Schroeder is no, no, like, thing for anybody. Like, he's not going to help his team at all here. Only way kiting works is if you chase it. Right, boys? Yes, it's going to take that guy a long time to get back into a useful position for his team. I still don't see on the map where that, that destroyer died. Unless that's his... He might... It might be that little shadow in the B cap, like right at the B. That might be the destroyer's death. We should be able to power across this pretty easily. Damn it. They're getting to just the right spot to where I can't shoot them at just the right time. Real unfortunate. We know that their carrier is still probably in the exact same spot he was in.
Iowa's still very healthy. Mines is still healthy, so we should be good there. Down goes the Alabama. Down goes the Missouri. Okay, well, I guess the team didn't need my help after all, so we'll just go out here after this carrier. We do have our reload booster left. You would have thought that this uh, Iowa would have gotten to the cap here, or Missouri, or whatever it is, Iowa. You'd have thought he'd have gotten to the cap. He's sitting right outside the cap for so long. I figure by putting myself in the last known direction of the carrier, it's going to do two things. One, it's going to give me a chance to catch the carrier, and two, it's going to get me closer to the Schroeder, which is inevitably what I need. If the Schroeder continued to come around the corner. Now, if he's still in the same spot, I should be getting detected in three, two, one. Okay. Not detected yet, but it might not be close enough. We might have to wait a little bit longer. I expect to get detected here. Okay, I'm not detected, so he's moved either to that back corner. Okay, I'm spotted by planes. Schroeder's probably about to start hitting me from the right, if I had to guess. There you are. Hello, sunshine. Here come the planes. First shot fire from the uh, Schroeder. Sunshine, come back. That was actually decently close considering I haven't been spotted. Come and get some, Schroeder. Come on, you're a tier 8 for God's sakes. What are you playing hide and go seek for? think he's dumb enough to back out in front of me i do have a reload booster so i will get a, a second shot if i get a chance surely he, he won't back out in front of me. he's just gonna sit behind the island and, and lose right he seems like the kind of guy that would just sit there and lose come on show yourself coward getting close to not being able to get that second shot so Yeah, unfortunate. Little coward doesn't want to play. Imagine playing your entire game like that. Like, legitimately, all this Schroeder did was fire HE at a Bismarck the entire game. Like, could you imagine being that bored? Like, that dude did nothing for his team. Tier 8 ship and did nothing for his team. Yet he got top of the leaderboard. <laughs> what does that tell you about the rest of them? What does that tell you about the rest of his team? Oof. Gotta love it. Uh, CLR, how's it going? Aaron Ball, welcome. Gatorhawk. That sounds like a bad sci-fi sci movie. Aloha, Doglix. Appreciate you dropping in as well. Squally, how's it going? Get him. Benjamin. Wild. Appreciate you all, all dropping in tonight. Do I like the Toulon? You got it from a box and have a tough time with it. The French, the French Super Cruiser line, or whatever you want to call them, they're an interesting bunch. Uh, they are not the easiest ships to play in the world. But I find, like, I play them super aggressive, so, like, 
breast and, and um, God, which one is the Toulon? Is the Toulon the tier eight? No, the breast is the tier eight. Sherberg is tier seven. Toulon must be the tier six that I don't have. See, I ended up getting the tier seven out of a box and that's the one that I played. But I tend to play these things really, really aggressively. Um, they're not that tanky, but they, they have decent enough guns. But yeah, th th they get better. Like I would say, just suffer through it. Like a lot of a lot of lines are just you know you suffer through some of them, and then you get to the better ship. The the breast is worth it. So let, let's show the breast, because uh, I don't have the too long. But I'll show you how I play these ships, which I don't necessarily recommend for everybody. But I feel like these things are flankers, and they do extremely well at getting to places people don't expect them. And then utilizing that for their advantage. Like these things are amazing at setting up crossfires. How good is Stalingrad? Stalingrad's fantastic. Uh, don't fall into the trap of shooting HE like everybody else has lately. It's not it's not an HE ship. Use the AP, man. The AP is stupid good. What up, Taller Talk? Good to see you. If you guys are enjoying, don't forget to punch that like button too. I know it's been a kind of an iffy start, but we've had some good games in there, so hopefully you guys have enjoyed. It's probably a worse movie than Sharknator. I don't know. Gator Hawk sounds like a fun one. <laughs> I'm just I'm just picturing a uh, a gator flying. It'd be hilarious. It'd be like Lake Placid, except like uh, a little bit a little bit crazier. What we got? Uh, gearing, Chengmu, of course, we're bottom tier. But it's not too bad. Worcester, oh my god. I say it's not too bad. Schlieffen, Colombo, Colombo, Worcester, Alaska. <laughs> Damn. I mean, at least they didn't throw a freaking Yama in there for good measure. I guess. Alright, we're going to try to showcase this thing in this game. This is not the best map for it, but it may allow us to get a good good spot so basically i'm gonna try to get to that island not the not the first island but the second one over there and see if i can't get a, a crossfire set up on all these guys that like to like sit in that gap that's our goal utilizing the concealment and why does it spawn me like in the fucking zone where i'm gonna get yeeted i, th I think this game's trying to get me killed like if you go in front of this island you're dead Especially with guaranteed two destroyers, like you're, you're guaranteed to get yeeted. But these things are incredibly fast. They're they're decently sneaky for what they are, and then you can get them into some stupid locations. But it looks like we're gonna get followed by everybody on this side, which is not ideal because ideally we want to set up a crossfire, so my teammates can bow tank, and I come in for the flank. But what looks like it's going to happen is these guys are going to follow me out here and then nobody's going to have a crossfire. So then everybody, I'm going to be shooting at the bow of a ship, which is not where I want to be. But we have decent range too. I mean, range is 18 kilometers. Accuracy on these things can be a little bit sus at times, but it's French, so you're used to it. Our daring is kind of getting up in there, which is nice, but also possibly going to get him yeeted with this many cruisers and a gearing against him. Free shot, nice. That eh, could have been a better result. Dude, all of their cruisers are coming out here. That's a lot of DPM. Another free shot. Okay. Didn't see that coming. Okay, that was a decent hit. That was five overpens. At Worcester's very, very lucky at this range to not get Citadel. Definitely getting spotted here, but only for a moment, so it shouldn't be too bad. Got a good look at that Alaska. Couldn't couldn't pass that up. 
lot of overpins, man. Okay, Schroeder went back inside, which is bad news for our daring. But we know their destroyer is not here, so I would like to get to the next island if I can. We should have a decent crossfire set up here. Uh, the island's in the way. I was going to say, we should have a decent crossfire for the Schroeder, but that island's perfectly right in the god dang way. Boost des moteurs désactivé. Dude, the Schroeder is pacing perfectly to stay right in that island for me. Like, I would yeet this man right now, but I just don't have the angle. This fucking mountain's right in the fucking way. And our daring's just getting fucked up because of it. Who the fuck did we just spot? Oh, there's the Columbo. Down goes our daring! Alright, this is danger zone, because now I've got Columbo in the gap capable of shooting me. Schroeder's doubling back, so he's actually in a position to potentially shoot me as well. There's the shot from the Columbo, as expected. Knocks my gun. Line of sight spotted because of the fucking... Uh, this is this is less than ideal. Dude, we are just getting fucked up by those goddamn battleships right now. Got one. Okay, Alaska's down. I'm trying to protect myself from the fucking battleships, man. It's not the Colo it's not the Worcester and the Alaska that's fucking me up. It's those goddamn battleships. Secondary kill? Nope. Get rid of him. Come on, game. Thank you. You can't give him that fire! Fuck this game, man! Fuck this game! Like, they, you fucking can't give him that bullshit! Oh, it's just battleships. It's just flammable cannoneer that gets you fucked up by fires. No, it's the fucking fire chance in this fucking game. It's stupid. God dang it, man. Fucking lose that much health because of that at the end. I mean, we're going to get a heal, so we're going to survive it, but it's so fucking frustrating. So frustrating. We did our job. We got out on the flank. We did what we wanted to do. We have a beautiful opportunity here to finish this Schlieffen off. If he survives long enough for it. Alright. Look how much that fucking secondaries start, like, working... One thing that does work against you with this thing is how tall the fucking towers are. Like, if you don't know how spotting works in this game, like, it goes off of, like, the highest point on your ship. That's how you get spotted. So, we got 30 seconds left for a, uh, heal. We do have two more reload boosters. We can heal about 10k back. But we got two fucking Columbos heading towards us. And nobody on our team moving up to support us. 
ideally we want to wait for our teammates to start engaging these guys and then like come in from the flank I just used my fucking reload booster. I hate how the shit's on the wrong buttons. Like, I legitimately hate that shit. That fucking shit drives me crazy, man. You're so used to hitting the, the like certain buttons for, for different things, and I fucking just wasted a goddamn reload booster. That's another thing. I hate the fact that they're, they're fixed for not allowing you to use your fucking reload while a gun is busted. And now I gotta wait two minutes for my reload booster. God dang it. We are so fucking dead here. We get a couple cheeky shots here. God dang it, dude. That guy back there is actually going to cause me more issues just due to the fact that, like, I can kind of toy with this Columbo a little bit. But that guy being able to cover this guy as I, like, move in to try to flank him is kind of the issue. I, I don't know what our bow is. I think I got 25, so I think this guy actually does overmatch us, which is not ideal. As I can shoot through there, I'll take it. Try to use the island to cover me. Here comes the SAP secondaries. I do have a reload booster available. Come on. Reload booster, don't fail me now. Ouch, ouch, ouch. <sighs> hey, Alaska, would you like to take a hit? <laughs> I think I've had enough of this hitting. Oh, lordy. We survive. What up, Tyler? Dewan? J Core? How's it going? Brennan? But yeah, there you go. That That's kind of what you can expect out of these things. Are they the greatest things on the planet? No. But they're very good at getting into those positions that catch people off guard. Um, against cruisers, you can tank relatively well. I mean, that didn't really show a lot of how tanky we were. Because Alaska has just busted AP. So even at a decent angle, he's going through us. And then um, the Schlieffen and Columbo sniping me from across the map. Uh, but... Overall, we survive it, even with less than ideal. We got top of the leaderboard in a primarily legendary tier match. So, let me know what you guys think. I, I personally enjoy this line. It's different style play. And that's what I like. Like, there are so many copy, like, or not copy, but, uh, like, the play style of so many ships is so similar. So, like, when I get a ship like this or the Duncan, like, I truly enjoy the Duncan. I, I, I think people don't understand just how much I enjoy the Duncan. Like, it's a tier 8 ship. I shouldn't enjoy it. But the Duncan is so much fun. The breast is so much fun because of its just ris ridiculousness. Speaking of Duncan, let's go play the Duncan. Oh, I've got cruisers selected. Duncan is a battleship. Also, I like the fact that we already have four battleships for the the uh, Japanese at Tier 8, and they're bringing another one. So we're going to have five battleships for the Japanese at Tier 8. Let's, let's do a quick recap of everybody else. So we have two for the Americans. We have one, two, three for the uh, British. One, two, three for the Germans. One, two for the French. One, two... <laughs> Or one for the Russians. One, two... Actually, there's two for the Russians because they had that Savetsky Rosaya or whatever. Um, I think. But yeah, then we have three for the Italians. Do we really need a fourth or a fifth rigged Japanese ship? Japanese battleship, I should say. Like, there are plenty of ships out there that they could add to the game as campaign ships. I don't... 
I don't know why they end up adding so many, like, like, I understand battleships are one of the most, like, played classes, but I just don't, wait, let's make sure we got, yeah, see, we got to make sure we put gyrating drill bits on for the Duncan. I know a lot of people cringe when I do that, but I use mostly AP on this, and the last thing I want to do is reduce my AP penetration. What up, somebody? How's it going? I mean, wild, it just, it takes time, man. I'm not the most knowledgeable and I'm not the best. You guys get to see like the best games that I have like on YouTube, but I play extremely aggressively. So I never recommend everybody play the way that I do. Look at this. I get in a fucking, get in a battleship and all the destroyers come out, right? Every time, man. But I don't recommend that play style for most just due to the fact that I do it because it's fun to watch, right? Like I'm making content. Like that's that's my number one goal when I make or when I play this game is to make content. So like I don't recommend that everybody go out and play like an absolute lunatic like I do sometimes. But at the same time, if you're playing every ship super like safely and passively, you're probably limiting the amount of damage you're going to get because people aren't used to playing against um that sort of like playstyle. That's why it works. That's why it's so fun to watch. Because when it works, like, it's hilarious. Like, like that game there. I mean, we went up against... We went toe-to-toe -to -toe with an Alaska, a Worcester, and a Colombo, and a Tier 8 cruiser. Heavy cruiser with terrible DPM. But it was fun. <laughs> and we did, we made plenty of mistakes there, too. Um, fall, fall back, dude. You're not going to have anybody to support you, my guy. I, I don't want this guy to rush in in his destroyer. Looks like he's going to turn away, which is the right choice. I don't normally push around here, but I feel like it'd be a good idea in this particular ship. Because I had the engine... I had the engine boost to help get me around the corner. And then, uh... We can, we can kind of make things happen, but... I hope our minds doesn't get himself killed in the meantime, because it's going to take time. It's not always a good idea to come out here. That being said, if I get a shot at this this Vanguard while he's beached, I would love that. See, this is the this is the problem with this sort of play style. Is like, I, I play for this, and then people do dumb things, and then I wish that I was still in the right position. They got the Z-46 in the cap. Our destroyer's being a little bit too aggressively here for no reason. He just lost a third of his health already. We've already lost the Oster Jotland in the middle. Or no, on the right side. There's a Missouri coming this direction. I'm hoping that uh, I don't get spotted when I go through here. I'm hoping this guy smoked up, and it looks like he did. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Fuck you! Reverse Uno, bitch! <laughs> oh, that never gets old. That never fucking gets old. <laughs> That son of a bitch thought he had me dead to rights. He's like, I'll go in and fucking yeet this guy. No, you won't. <laughs> Snipe. <laughs> oh, I love this ship so much, man. Those torpedoes look so fucking absurd when you launch them, too. Because they go all, all turny and shit. Engine boost. high here like the Air Force. Solid hit. Vanguard's running.
The main thing to remember with this thing is don't fire your torpedoes too early. You only get the one per side. Oh my god, he actually fucking knows. Alright. I give you some credit. I give you some credit. Not bad. Secondaries? Oh my god. That was getting scary. He was about to get loaded, dude. I was about to get yeeted. I was about to get yeeted. Okay, they did manage to kill the destroyer as well. Didn't lead him enough. He came out of that turn a little bit more than I was expecting. Hoping that I can get another shot here before they get... I think I'll go for... I think I was locked onto the vanguard. I don't know how good that shot's gonna be. We'll speed up, try to get around this island. Dude, that Sumner in the middle just yeeted everybody in that fucking pack. But that was one torpedo launch that just took all of the health off that Vanguard and Amagi. I mean, it's not quite my Shima, Shima 150 or 160,000 damage strike, but it was a pretty good one for a Sumner especially. superstructure look at that shot boom <laughs> dude this thing is absurdly accurate that that's the other thing that people just don't realize with this he got a shot off a little bastard blink blink um you don't realize just how accurate this ship is like if you like the collingwood because of its accuracy you're gonna love this thing you just gotta learn to angle it. And like I said, this thing is very susceptible to citadels. It's got a raised citadel. It's overmatchable through the bow and the stern uh, by most ships that you're gonna run into. So you gotta get them to shoot the belt. That Missouri knew not to shoot the belt. Like, I'll give the Missouri props. He, he legitimately shot through the bow side plating, which was the best shot he could have taken in that moment, which is why he took the, the health that he did. But this thing's so much fun, man. What up, Edward Jenner? How's it going? A Ron A Bike, how's it going? Amir, good morning. Jackal. Shadow, good morning. I'm not I'm not gonna be playing legendary tier. I already already kinda decided that today. After that freaking Des Moines game. That was enough for me. Look at the Sumner just kind of stalking this repub, hoping that he comes around the corner. From downtown! Wait for it. Not bad. And there's the torpedoes. I doubt these get there before those torps do, but I'm going to try. Yeah. I say, I don't think I'm beating those torps. They, they started much closer than my shells. Oh, man, this ended up being a raffle stomp. I still, that, that kill on that destroyer was priceless. That man got reverse unoed so hard. Am I a vampire? No, I just, I tend to be nocturnal. I'm not exactly, uh... Wait, he's all the way the fuck over there? 
I've always, always been a night person, to be honest. Alright, give it to me. Come on, Duncan. Oh, why is he, why is he turning? Does he see the torps? He might see the torps. Yoink. Dude, this Sumner is loving life right now. These people sailing straight into all of his torpedoes and making this guy look like a pro. He ain't done anything special. It's just that these guys are literally sailing straight into every torpedo that he sends. What is that? Duncan. You should be ashamed of yourself for that bullshit. Did our Kagero survive? He did. Well done. What up, Blackbeard? How's it going? Edward, appreciate you. Wild, welcome to the Spartiates, my dude. Thanks for becoming the newest member on the channel. Much appreciated. Not much damage to be had, unfortunately. A lot of the damage got yeeted. Like, I, we could have had a lot more damage in this match, but that freaking Amagi and Vanguard getting themselves just torpedoed into oblivion by that Sumner kind of fucked our chances of getting any real damage. But Duncan is so good, man. These little squirrely torpedoes. I would launch them, but I actually like my torpedo accuracy in this thing. I feel like I've got really good torpedo accuracy in the Duncan. Shocker. The one, the one ship that I only get one torpedo off either side is the one that I have, like, the most torpedo accuracy with. <laughs> what up, Nick? Dylan, appreciate you guys dropping in. Glad you guys enjoy. Hopefully you guys got a chuckle out of that destroyer that thought he was going to torpedo me. Also, how, what was the quick thinking there? Like, did you guys see how quickly I reacted? I was like, oh shit, destroyer. Oh wait, I got torpedoes. <laughs> Yeet. But yeah, I'm glad you guys enjoy, man. I, I do try to, try to have a good time with you guys. I try to have a little bit of fun, but the game does get to you sometimes. Especially when you do it every day and, and you're trying to like put out good content constantly. Like, it, it does, it does wear on you. What up, Nick? Huh, not the greatest result, but not a bad one. Sumner, of course, coming in top with 3k base because he just got to yeet everybody's health, man. Well done. Well done. Where'd our Kagero end up? Kagero didn't do much of anything. He got two kills, but he quit. Oh, he quit the game early. He did get a death strike on the destroyer, though. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm going to have to, uh, I'm going to have to clip that, that kill on the Kagero. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be a YouTube short for sure. For sure. Oh. All right, let's go down to like tier six. What what should we play at tier six to kind of... Let's go hood. Hood is so good. Let's take out the hood. Can you use a Magi? Uh, maybe. What up, Thailand? Play the French. I mean, we already played the Champagne. We played the Jean Bart. And we played the Brest. We've played quite a bit of French already. Ooh, okay. Rama, we're top tier. Oh boy, don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. Let's go. All right. Come on, Hood. 
Let's show them how dominant you are when you're actually top tier. Even bottom tier this thing is good, but when it's top tier, it's actually kind of scary. And there, Rico! Welcome. Yeah, welcome, Nariko. Yeah, well, welcome to the stream, Thailand. And again, no, nothing against it. Like I said, I just, I literally just played like Champagne, Jean Bart, and Breast like back to back. So I, I was going to play a couple other things here and there. I don't know how long I'm going to be streaming for. We may end up jumping in like the Richelieu or something too. But uh, I know Amagi. I'll do the Amagi next. But just kind of. Just kind of hopping in, trying to have some fun, you know? Just just a little bit of fun here and there, instead of being super serious all the time. I do. I do try. <laughs> it doesn't always work out, but I do try to have fun. Been following me for seven years. Boy, that's, that's a long time, my guy. I've been, I've been streaming for, or I haven't been streaming, but I, I've been playing for seven years when it comes to, uh, doing YouTube videos. So, pretty awesome. OG's on the channel, man. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! What did that Colorado do to deserve that? Holy shit! Also, Fuso shooting AG. You'll love to see, and Colorado shooting AG. What are these people doing? Armor piercing! Okay, there's a cruiser over here. That's what's shooting me with HE. It wasn't the Colorado. Fuso's definitely shooting HE too. Given the fire rate, I'm gonna say it's probably Boise. Or Rahmat. I'm spotted? Oh, Duke of York. No. It's the Ramat. Alright, let's put the, uh... Okay, he's not in a position to hit us. I'm actually gonna be a little less aggressive here. Let's wait for this Ramat to... Oh my god. I forgot those things get smoke. Go ahead and use our first heal. Come on, Colorado, you slow bitch. He sh Is their entire team shooting AG? Like, hello? Alright, we're gonna go ahead and damage con this. Hope that they don't get immediately, like, three fires. Well, if they get three fires, it won't be a problem. They're literal, literally the Colorado shooting AG, the Raw Mod, I understand, and the Fuso, all shooting AG. What kind of madness is this? Don't worry, my teammates are shooting HE back at them. Otherwise, this Colorado would already be dead. Here comes the double fire. Never mind, he swings and misses. What is this game? I don't understand it. How did I get a double fire there? They didn't even hit me. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? Like, how did they get the double fire if he didn't even hit my ship? He's committed to it, though. Get turned around. It's a dead Colorado. First kill. Yeah, it's called using armor piercing. You should try it, Queen Elizabeth. We got the same goddamn guns.
We literally had the same guns. You should just try using armor piercing once in a while. Dude, if I get a chance, I'm going to send this Rahmat back to the Shadow Realm. I feel like he's not going to pay attention. Just got to wait for the right moment. Make your... Got the shot out there. I think he turned towards us right at the last second. Many thanks. Like, I'm not afraid of the raw mot at all, but I was afraid of the raw mots, HE plus torpedoes, plus the Colorado, plus the Fuso. That's a lot of potential damage. Okay, we're almost in range to shoot the Fuso. We also have another battleship in the gap in front of us, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Go ahead and heal. Oh, that's gonna sting. Get him! Oh, yeah! Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you, you little turd? You didn't see that one coming, did you? You thought you had this. You thought. You were wrong, sunshine. Well, there goes our dum dum. <laughs> Did he get? Did he at least finish the guy off? I doubt it. But why? Why do that? Like, well, he actually hit him. I think either that or he hit the island. He hit something with two of those torps. I figure if it was the raw mod, he would have killed the raw mod. So it's definitely not him. All stations, proceed to capture that area. Okay, Duke of York is here. Boise's over there. That's the second time I've seen. That was the that's the destroyer that I'm going to make a clip out of. <laughs> oh, can we do it twice? Can we do it twice? 8.2. Ah, overpins. No, don't lock onto the fucking battleship game. STOP LOCKING ONTO THE FUCKING BATTLESHIP! I know what I'm trying to- I'm gonna fucking lose it. I know what I'm trying to fucking do, you stupid game. Fuck this game, dude. I'm trying to fucking blind fire a guy and the fucking game is like, No, you want to shoot the cruise- or you want to shoot the battleship, right, game? Jesus Christ, the entire enemy team is shooting nothing but HE at me. hate that shit. It's like, I know what I want to do with the fucking shells, okay? Stop trying to fucking play for me, game. Oh, of course. There's the fucking double fire from the fucking... Duke of York hit me with one salvo, got the double fire. I'm still spotted though, their destroyer's here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, sonar. I don't know where their destroyer's hiding. This guy definitely wants to end up in another fucking clip, I think. No, somebody fucking loaded AP. God dang it, man. I wish I could go dark! It'd be fucking nice! Yeah, there's the fucking torpedoes. It's almost like the fucking destroyer's right on top of me. Shocker. And again, yes, I, I definitely don't want to shoot the fucking destroyer here, do I, game? Thank you for trying to tell me how to fucking play. How about you leave the fucking playing, and then he immediately gets a fire. First fucking shell that hits me after I damage Khan. 
Dude, this is fucking sadness. Again, if we had any teammates that were capable of fucking thinking and breathing here, instead of me having to fight literally their entire team, it would be fucking nice. Hopefully my team can somehow manage to pull this back. Because they've been sitting over here for fucking 10 minutes while the entire enemy team comes over to fight me. Like, surely they can fucking finish that shit off, right? God, that's so fucking annoying, man. Every HE shell that touches me sets a fire. Like, my shit goes on cooldown for a split fucking second. A destroyer shoots me with like a 7% chance to set a fire. Gets a fire. This Queen Elizabeth hasn't loaded anything but HE for the entire fucking game because he hasn't figured out that what an overmatch is. The Duke of York leaves that side of the fucking map to come over and fight me. The Atlanta leaves that side of the map to come over and fight me. All these fuckers came from the other side of the map to come over and fight me with HE. And none of these fucking people on my team have, like, decided that they should probably try to relocate. Like, like what are they waiting for? They've been over here for so long, man. Get over there and fight something. Lord have mercy. Like, the whole enemy team came to fight me. So, like, get yourself in a position and take advantage of it. Ah, oh, frustration. What up, henchman? What's cooking? Me, clearly. <laughs> uh, do I stream on any other platforms than YouTube? No. No. Um, I would get into Twitch, and I probably should get into Twitch. But, I don't know. I just don't feel like starting over with growing a channel. What up, Podge? Welcome. Long time no see in chat, my dude. Blackstone, welcome. Love your grills. Oh, <laughs> actually, I've never had a Blackstone grill. That's a lie. Uh, we said we were going to play the Amagi next, didn't we? Let me go do that real quick. Just a real quick. Gascon is your favorite ship. I got to wait. Uh, I'm thinking about buying the gas can. Like I said... When I first played it, I didn't like it at all. But now that I'm kind of used to that sort of play style with the repub, I'm wondering if I could if I could have a little bit of fun with it. Because I like the I like the repub, I like the champagne. They both have a similar sort of play style to the gas can, so I might be able to pull it off. I'm your first YouTube subscription. Well, thank you so much, Wild. Appreciate you, my guy. Welcome to the uh, Spartan Army. What's the best ship tree to grind? It really does depend on your uh, your play style, man. Um, there's no right or wrong answer. I think the easiest easiest like tech tree to, to grind is probably the Americans of any of them, whether it be the destroyers, the battleships, or the cruisers. Uh, just due to the fact that they are, they're very solid ships, they are very consistent, so it allows you to focus on how to play them. Um, so personally, if you're going to start with something, I always recommend you start with, with our Americans. And that's not me being biased. I mean, it is simple. The, the, they are the most consistent ships from the, the battleships, the cruisers, the destroyers. Like, they're very good at all the tiers, all the way up through. Like, you're not going to find really a bad ship in there. Pensacola people tend to struggle with, but it's not because it's a bad ship. It's just because it's squishy. So battleships tend to make it go pop. Same thing with the Omaha, uh, New Orleans. But like it, by the time you get up there, you should have a basic understanding of like how to how to mitigate damage. Um, and so you shouldn't have as much trouble with those ships. But I I personally think that that's the best place to start. And then once you once you learn how to play the Americans, you'll have a pretty good understanding of most of the basics. So then going to the other tech trees will be easier, because a lot of the other tech trees have nuance that you have to learn, and uh, the Americans really don't. The Americans are just kind of decent across the board. Also Godzilla, welcome. Jackal, how's it going? Odin is good. A lot of a lot of people think that the Omaha is a bad ship, but it isn't. Just because a ship likes to get death struck because people don't know what the hell they're doing does not make it a bad ship. If a good player plays an Omaha, they make everybody look silly. 
Like, the Omaha can absolutely run rampant at Tier 4. What a fleet admiral. I see another name that I recognize. Two names that I recognize. Baltimore's a great cruiser. The the American heavy cruisers are so much fun, man. Especially if you play aggressive like I do. Like they can they can bully people, man. It's hilarious. We have an Anchorage, a Schroeder, and an Amagi on this flank. With a lot of cruisers. This could be juicy. Now, they have three battleships in Iowa and Iowa and a Massachusetts. So we'll see how that goes. But if we run into a bunch of cruisers, oh, there's some Massachusetts. Let's get them to shoot at me so that my, my cruisers don't get yeeted here. Oh, they're already firing. Good first hit. We'll take it. Oh, God. Oh, God. Look out, Anchorage! Oh, boy. Okay, that wasn't as bad as it could have been. Stop trying to tell me how to fucking play the game. Wait for it. Oh, that's that's our Arthas moment right there. Oh, I quit! I quit! I quit! How does he get away with it? Double fire. That checks out. Triple fire. Come on, boys. Start fucking firing your guns, please. Lord have mercy. I just took all that man's health. Why are we leaving him alive? Oh, my God. You people. You people need to stop. Look at him running away. Like, what are they running from? Exactly. And then I can't hit him. Of course. The dude isn't moving, so I'm not allowed to hit him, right? Tell me what's going on. And I got this fucking cruiser lobbing me from left left field. Like, it isn't even the Massachusetts that's the problem. It's this fucking cruiser sitting in the middle of the map, shooting me over this fucking island, and I have no way to spot him because there's no spotting in this game. Like, the Massachusetts isn't... This guy is literally... Okay. I'm gonna end up making a fucking stupid turn here, because this Massachusetts isn't even a fucking issue. It's this fucking cruiser that's the problem. This chappy is fucking me up with EOP. Like, he isn't even getting a lot of fires. He's simply using EOP and pinning everywhere on my ship. And there's the fire, of course. I gotta use this island and pray that I live... Yeah, I don't live... Again, what are these guys so fucking afraid of? Like, you're in a fucking Schroeder. I get the the Anchorage being a little bit more passive, but what are these other two guys? Like, you're in a fucking Schroeder. It's a secondary brawler. Move up. If you guys weren't so busy cowering behind the fucking island, the fucking piece of shit Suja or whatever the hell would have died a lot sooner. Like, somebody would have been in a position to fucking spot the fucking chappy so I could help get rid of him. But no, they don't get any of that. Everybody just hides. Like, fuck, man. Like, the guy is in a fucking chappy sitting behind a fucking island yeeting me while the Massachusetts just sits bow in and watches. And there's nothing I can do with it because my teammates are just sitting there behind an island. Like, th what are you so afraid of? I want to know, like, what is so fucking scary about what we were up against? That you just can't move. You're you're petrified. At first I was afraid. I was petrified. Kept thinking I could never live without you by my side. I spent so many nights thinking how you did me wrong. And I grew strong. Actually, I didn't. I died. God, dude. Fucking EOP on a fucking Russian cruiser is nasty. Dude, it just, it pins every fucking hit. No matter where it hits, it's just doing fucking 5,000 damage every six seconds. And then setting a fire occasionally. 
Like, there was no angling against it. There's nothing. It just, no matter where it hits you, it's like going up against a mines, man. It's just gonna fuck you up, and there ain't shit you can do about it unless they give up to get fucking Citadel. But those guys need to stop fucking hiding and just fucking play their goddamn ships, man. Like, I don't understand. What was so scary about that? You got a Massachusetts in front of you and a fucking Japanese cruiser who's beached on an island. First of all, he went broadside to me and the two cruisers. I have a Schroeder with 305 millimeter guns and I have a fucking Anchorage with eight inch American armor piercing. Neither of those guys did shit and damage to that, that fucking guy, right? Like neither of them. <laughs> like how? I don't understand it. All right, let's 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 take the uh, Richelieu out here. Let's see, uh, just for uh, the dude. Play Helena? Eh. Dude, it's fucking obnoxious, man. Like, I'm trying to fucking help you. Like, how many people bitch that the fucking battleships never do anything, right? How many people bitch all the time? You see it all over Facebook and Reddit, all over the fucking internet. Everybody, oh, battleship captains don't do anything. Then you fucking move forward in a battleship to try to fucking make something happen and your teammates just sit there and fucking watch. Like, it, you fucking, I hate it, man. I hate it. We had the team to push. We had a smoke screen. We had fucking torpedoes. We had the fucking Schroeder secondaries. The Schroeder has armor and not a single fucking person decided they needed to move. They just sat there behind their island and waited for me to get fucked up by the chappie. Like, the Massachusetts didn't do shit to me. The, the fucking Japanese destroyer didn't do shit to me. It was the fucking chappie sitting there lobbing the fucking island. Also, this guy is in another game, and this time he's in a fucking Saipan. Can you fuck off, dude? Seriously? Like, I know I made you, I, I made you feel some type of way when I dev struck you with your destroyer, but, like, can you kindly fuck the fuck off? If you're gonna try to fucking get in my games with fucking carriers and shit, like, that's dirty. Good morning, Schmidt. Thomas, Tomatoes, KBR. Any advice for Tiger59? Go watch Hivehound. I mean, he's the only one that I know of that has, like, actually put any time into the, the Tiger. I don't even have the ship, so I, I've never touched the ship. So I, I couldn't tell you anything about it. But Hivehound has several videos in it. He absolutely loves the ship for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, two tier six battleships here. I'm kind of hoping that these guys actually do something here. Okay, first thing I get to shoot at is a destroyer. It's a good start. Good hit. Hopefully we can get rid of him. I mean, our Udaloy should tear that thing apart at this point, right? Like, we've taken half the hit points off of that thing. And Udaloy is hiding behind an island. Of course he is. And he just beached. Alright, Sinop, whatever the fuck you're going to do, do it so that I can, like, play away from you. I don't want to be this close to you. Because I don't trust you. I feel like you're going to be a fucking doofus. I hate, I hate being near other fucking battleship captains. I was using my, like, engine boost to get the flank here on this side of the map, hoping that I'd be able to do something. How many fucking people are just going to spam HE today? I guess it's another fucking 16-inch battleship spamming HE because he doesn't know better. Sixteen inch battleship shooting AG. <laughs> Karma has spoken, bitch. <laughs> Get fucked. And you're I'm putting out your fire immediately because fuck you. Take your AG and go fuck somewhere else. Dude, <laughs> what the fuck was that, Richelieu? Damn, I ain't seen a fucking Ragnarok ever get deleted that hard. That dude just got fucking yeeted. 
<laughs> that guy, I was so unexpected too. I was like, oh, that's a decent looking salvo. And then he just gets fucking deleted from this earth. Sent straight to the shadow row. Oh my god. Hello, Merker. How are you? Yep, I think I'm gonna go this way now. Look at the fucking agility of this ship, man. I wish I would go dark here. Stop the ship! There's gonna be torpedoes! Stop the ship! Stop the ship! Okay, Shirot goes down. Colorado's spotting me. Boost des moteurs désactivé. Colorado, you're kind of fucking with my style here. I ain't gonna lie. You're being real annoying. Okay, now he's not spotting me. The America didn't take a shot at us here. So I'm wondering if he didn't... Oh, yeah, he's right there. Look at this little cheeky bitch. Look at this little cheeky bitch. Get the cheeky bitch! Surprise, mother trucker! <laughs> he should still have one set of torpedoes, so I'm probably going to take some serious damage here. But he's going to die. Oh, he just launched him. Oh, what a sadness. What an absolute sad tragedy. You die now. You don't even get the, like, benefit of me shooting two guns at you. And because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and put out the fire, because fuck you in particular. Alright, so we have dev struck a battleship and helped remove two destroyers. So, XP is on point at this point. Let's hope this Colorado's still shooting AP. I'm gonna have a nasty looking salvo on this guy, too. Look at it. It's accurate. It's accurate! Bonk! Plink, 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 plink! <laughs> Were you expecting something else to happen there, Sunshine? Like, I appreciate the AG or the AP, but you should probably learn to, like, aim at weak spots, my guy. Like, superstructure. And unfortunately for you, I overmatch you, so I can hit pretty much anywhere except your belt and I'll do damage. I'm trying to stop because there is a smoke screen to my right, which uh, contains two destroyer or two cruisers. Don't break my gun. Thank you. Oh. Alert incendie. Good hits. Thank you for the triple. That's a free damage con. What are those cruisers? Oh, it's Belfast. Oh, it's two Belfasts. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? It's just a couple of Belfasts. Oh, come on. You can't make me kill him. Please finish him. Beautiful. Let's go kill us a couple of Belfast, shall we? I'm still spotted, which is... Oh, it's the carrier. I forgot about the carrier. Okay, now I go dark. Don't you dare give him a fire. You bitch. I'm a murder. I'm a murder. Oh, I can't... I can't resist that, though. I can't resist it. It's not even a Belfast 43, it's just a regular Belfast, so they're just sitting here in this, this smoke screen, waiting to die. Oh. Hello, test subject number one. How are you?
Have I ruined your, your goals in life? Night, Sunshine. How are you doing, Sunshine? I appreciate you volunteering all your hit points, too. I didn't get... Uh, Belfast likes to get overpinned. I ain't gonna lie. Like, Belfast really does. Please don't give this guy a flood right now. Thank you. Beautiful. Come here, you little turd. Gonna aim high because I don't know if I'm gonna be oh my god look at that grouping though that's beautiful they all fell short though I aim high and they still all fall short and he hit my superstructure so he doesn't get the the citadel all right let's aim even higher Come on, Richelieu. Dude, that bomb wasn't even anywhere near me. Who the hell are you bombing, my dude? You've been sipping in... Is it October already? Like... Damn it. He's angled pretty well for a carrier. So I'm not gonna lie. Sykes biceps. Uh, Overland, thank you for the ten dollars, my dude. I already played the champagne today, actually. Surprisingly. Come on, hit the ship. I believe in you, game. That's better. Flood. No flood. Okay. Oh, Parsifal! Where are you running? You're gonna have to turn eventually, Joachim! No! <laughs> no! That bomb drop from that carrier just stole my ability to get 200k, too. Like, we're so close to getting that 200k game, and people are going to yoink it from me. Mine! Let's go. There we go, boys. That was a hell of a game. That was a hell of a game. Part of it, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, part of it is kind of making me want to uh, end the stream there, though. We have been going for two hours, and that's a great, great ending. Um, how much XP? Is it 3K? I think it's probably a 3K game. What do you guys think? Did we get 3K? What up, Iron Man? Thailand? Uh, Overland, thank you so much for the $10, my dude. Get some goats in the chat for Overland as well. Two point nine, thirty two hundred. I don't know. That seems a little high. I mean, this is a good game, but I don't know if it's that good of a game. If we'd have got a clear skies, maybe. All right, let's see what we got. Holy shit! <laughs> Thirty five. Wow. Is that my best game ever in the Richelieu? That might be my best game ever in the Richelieu. Whoa. That's a beast of a game. Damn. Is it a PR? 197 with uh, 3,500 base XP. One ninety-seven, thirty-five hundred. Let's go, new PR, baby. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Tyler, that was a that was a great game, man. Our best game ever. Right there. I'm sorry, Kushti. And Heisman, thank you for re-upping for nine months, my dude. Get a goat in the chat for Heisman. But, 
Dude, that that's 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 a game that's gonna go down for a while. That was that was a really good game. But I think I am gonna call it there, guys. It's been a fun stream. I want to end on a high note before things take a turn and get miserable. You guys know how it is. I just hope that you guys enjoyed this stream. Thank you guys so much for your generosity as always. Thank you for joining me for a after hours like crazy early morning stream. Probably a good one for you guys across the pond. Because you guys don't get to tune in when I'm late game or late afternoon a lot. But uh, I appreciate all y'all. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you like what I'm doing, punch the like button. Leave a comment below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, I will see you next video.